I bring in all the wishes uh, to Dr. Rakshay Kavadia for scoring rank number one in DM Pulmonary Medicine and Critical Care Medicine. Congratulations to you and best Thank wishes you. to you. Thank you, sir. Can we know your detailed background history so far, doctor, from where you started till date, what have you done? Uh, I started my uh, MBBS from uh, BJ Medical College, uh, Pune. Actually, I belong from Pune itself and I did my MBBS from there. And uh, then I went on to do my MD in General Medicine from uh, Sage GS Medical College, KM Mumbai. And uh, I just finished my MD uh, around four months back. And I was continuing with my bond period for the last four months. And I'm now currently working in KM itself. So, uh, DM, uh, Pulmonary Medicine and Critical Care Medicine, and to score rank number one, uh, what was the basic uh, background and why, basically, how you got this interest in the superficiality? Uh, actually, uh, past three years, uh, because of the pandemic and everything, we were working a lot in COVID. So a lot of critical care that we were exposed to during that time. So that's what about the interest into the subject of critical care for me. And I wanted something which would have another aspect to it other than just critical care. So this would have suited me better. Because it has a procedural aspect to a, a good aspect of OPD as well as uh, with the critical care background. So I think that was what interested me. A great combination, right? Yeah. <laughs> so that's what interested me. Yes. Where you started, how you started your preparation, what are your preparation strategies, how much of time you dedicated for this? Actually, I have a I, uh, start of the year, I was studying for my M final year exam. So I had studied for those itself. There was nothing separately. I tried given this exam six months back itself, where uh, I was I was ranked three then. But I did not take anything up that time because I really wanted to go into PGI for or AIMS Delhi. I did not want to take up. And there were no there were just two seats in the last session. So I thought I could give it another try and study a little more for it. And uh, this. <laughs> This time I studied, uh, actually the last time I had not studied pulmonology as much because being from general medicine background, uh, those aspects were a little new for me. So I relied on the speed app mainly for my pulmonology preparation. The medicine preparation was basically from my MD, whatever I had done, that was the preparation that I had done. And uh, the videos by Hariharan sir and Saurabh sir, those were the ones which had been the most, like they're very crisp and uh, all latest data, latest guidelines and uh, trials and stuff which like things which are asked my interview also exactly what sir had told us during the lecture so that was very helpful for me yes yes uh, uh, they are back background of an institute so they they exactly know where exactly to yes, focus sir. and to guide and exactly. uh, so for me it was a very uh, short and crisp version of pulmonology because for me to read fishman it was not possible at all so for those videos were the only source that i had what is the percentage of pulmonology questions in that? So, uh, around, uh, so the uh, pulmonology questions, actually it is 50 questions from pulmonary and critical care and 30 from medicine. And in the 50 questions, actually they put a lot of critical care into it as well, which is like sepsis guidelines and related to ventilators, some biostatistics. So, pulmonology comes to around, around 35 to 40 questions and the rest of it comes as to critical care. So, um, critical care, um, if like if we worked in the last three years in it, um, but you usually end up covering all those aspects of it in your residency itself. Good, good, good. And uh, how many questions did you attend in this? Uh, I added uh, 79 questions. I left out one question, which was a purely percentage based question. So I did not have any idea about it. So I did not attend. So now in two seats and you have scored one and you will you will get what you wanted now. Yeah, I will. Uh, I will. Uh, I think I'll visit both the institutes and I'll uh, speak to the faculty and find out more about the program in both both of them, and then I'll take a decision on which one. I think this is the safest rank, I believe, in yes. any 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 exam. This is the rank one is the safest rank. <laughs> yeah. Always. Yes, of course. Uh, you have everything open to you. So yeah. that's the, the best it will be. And uh, and uh, to, uh, today and yesterday, I was making a couple of interviews where uh, it was a real great experience for me where. Students have got second rank, they want to get first rank. Students got third rank, they want to get first rank. It, it's kind of the kind of competition. <laughs> Four months back. Uh, yeah, it's a, it's a nail biting competition. Eh? It's kind of yeah. confidence level has to be exactly I don't know because it's not that easy actually. Yes, yes. So how many would have uh, given this exam for uh, this pulmonary medicine? And uh, I think for the NEET SS actually around 500 people had qualified. So I'm assuming that 500 people at least would have given this examination. Mm. Because it's, it came at around the same time. So I think around those many people would have given it. Given. So it's a yeah. tight neck-to-neck uh, -neck competition. 
Yeah. <laughs> so it's not you can't. It's basically if you get a top ten rank, you get a seat. That's the word it is in that. Very nice. Very nice. So, what is the message that you want to give? Because this or uh, what I see is very inspiring for me itself actually, and I really get inspired and motivated. Only one rank, and even uh, uh, reproductive medicine also. The doctor has got uh, similarly second or the third rank, and they want only the first rank to get the seat. Similarly, the same case like you. My God, the kind of self confidence and the respect for mm-hmm. oneself to have and to go on to compete for this exam, mind blowing. Exactly. So, what is the message that you want to give uh, to students uh, who are aspiring for this? Uh, being from a general medicine background, uh, if it's not a very common choice that you would take up a DM pulmonary or critical care medicine. But if you're interested in it, then you should try for it. It's not. Uh, it, it's a very systematic approach we follow for an INI examination because the subject is the same. The topics that they repeat, the previous questions and the topics that they repeat, they are very easy. So if you follow the, you read the guidelines that have been taught and read the lectures, go through them. You can easily prepare for this examination without going through Fishman because that was not what I did. And guidelines are more helpful in such institute exams than in NEET. I feel so. That would be my message for them. Superb doctor, and you are now role models uh, for all of us, including me. That <laughs> uh, <laughs> level of confidence. Really, <laughs> the level of confidence I am, I'm getting inspired. Uh, with this, uh, that is uh, really great. It is really great, and people generally don't have that kind of a confidence because how to get first rank? The people will write the exam, and if they get the first rank, they'll be happy. But I want only the first rank or second rank to get the seat. So that itself is very oh, competing and preparing for that itself something great. That's what I uh, strongly admire you for that, and uh, I I wish you all the best and all the success to have a great career in the speciality that you have chosen. Thank uh, you. God bless you. Best wishes to you. Keep going. Thank you, sir. I would like to just thank uh, Hariyaran sir and Saurabh sir a lot, like immensely, and like a lot. He's they have been the source, and I'm very grateful to them. This video will definitely will reach them. I'll make sure that they reach them, they see, and they will feel very happy about your feedback. Thank you so much. Sir. And on their behalf, uh, I thank you for the great words. Thank you. Sir. Thank you.